So I completely forgot to do a proper intro. I think I did and then I ended up deleting it. So hey, what's up you guys, it's Connor. Today we're gonna be testing out a product for the car for dogs. Maddie is the company. They contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try one of their products for them and see how it works and review it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. It is a newer company that started off in Canada and now they ship to the United States and they have three different types of seat covers. There's one for the front seat of the car, so like the passenger front seat. Then there's one for the back seat that is long and then there is one for the cargo area, the trunk area. So I picked the cargo one to test because I have a seat one already in my car and I'm wondering how the cargo space will be filled with the product and if it's cushioned or anything like that. I know that the products are made with eco-friendly materials. It's a smaller company, so it's very high quality. The company is called Maddie, and I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can find some of their products. And for right now, they only ship to the USA or to Canada, because that's where they started. Obviously, this will be fantastic for when we take the pups to the beach or just to the park or they get wet or whatever. We can just put them in the back and we don't have to worry about the actual car getting dirty and we can, you know, clean the cargo liner instead of the actual car. It says that it's non-slip as well and we have an elderly Miss Cooper over to the side and so hopefully that will prevent her from slipping and falling. This one also has really bad balance so we'll see how he does as well. Right, Jet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jethro! It says they're waterproof, slip proof, they have extra storage pouches and apparently they're super easy to clean because some of those liners are very, very hard to clean. I just threw out one recently, like a backseat one, because I was trying to vacuum it and it was not gonna come off. So I just threw it away and I bought a really cheap new one. So if this one is so easy to clean, then I might invest in the backseat one as well. The cargo liner that I will be showing, which it's been too long already, so let's start to open it. The cargo liner is around $59. So that's kind of pricey, but I'm sure it's higher quality than the ones that I've been using. There we go. So when you open it, that's how it's packaged. And it says Maddie car trunk cover. It says the hammock style. Don't really know what that means. Slip proof, extra storage, quick and easy to install in just five minutes. So we'll see if that's true and easy to clean. It says it's quilted. So maybe that's why it's more expensive. Look, are you excited to test this out? Smells like a liner. Ah! Oh, that's cool. So it comes with one of those water bowls or food bowls if you want. So you can pop it out and put some water in there for your pups and then it closes and it's really easy to store. And there's also a little note in here that has a wax seal in it, which is so cool. I don't want to ruin the wax seal. Thank you for choosing Maddie. We wish you enjoy your new product and have a beautiful day. Thank you, Maddie Company. So that's it. There's also some suction cups, so I'm not really sure what that's about. And there aren't any instructions that I can see. So I'm just gonna play it by ear and try to set this up for you guys. <laughs> well, really for me, but you guys can watch me do it. So I would do this video in my car, but I don't have a cargo space. I just have a back seat, barely a back seat. It's quite small. <laughs> it only fits Nook. So instead, we're gonna be testing it out on this forerunner and see how it works. All right, so currently it is 11:10. Let's see if I can do this in five minutes. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna have to look up online <laughs> what it looks like on their website. It is very hot in Florida. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is it. <laughs> Let me get you closer and you can check it out for yourself. So this is how it looks like when it's actually in your car. Sorry, that's my phone. So it ended up being uh, a minute longer than what I thought it would take, but that's because I had to look up how it looked. This is kind of how it looks like online. So obviously it's a little long here and that's how it was online as well. So I guess you just pull this up when you close the doors so it creates a little hammock for them. In the back here is the extra storage that they were talking about. And you can store food bowls or toys or whatever you want in there. 
Obviously that's pretty spacious for a cargo liner. One thing I wish it did have would be these sides. Maybe you can get an extra like suction cup and put a hole here and I'd have it up against this window there so that it actually creates an actual hammock. You can see that there's already hair on it and it does come off very, very easily. You can just wipe it right off and it comes off, so that's nice. I'll have to take a vacuum to it at some point, but let's get the dogs out here so they can see. So let's see how they like it. In you go. Good boy, Nook and Jethro. So that's how it looks with pups in it. And of course, Nook shakes all his hair off. Ready guys, should we test this out? You want to, Nook? Jethro, how about you? Stay, buddy. Hi, boys. So I pulled the liner up. You know something else would be cool is if you could somehow connect the liner to the door just temporarily with like Velcro or something. Because I think that's just gonna fall over and stay like that. You guys wanna test it out while driving? Let's do it. You ready, puppy? Jet, you ready? All right, watch your head, Jet. So as I said earlier, this one does not have very good balance, so we're gonna really be seeing how he does. I don't have anything that I can just hook up to the back of the car while I'm driving, so maybe next time I do something like this, I'll be able to put something back there so you can actually see them, but his head might like just fall down at some point, and that means he slipped. He has such bad balance. How you doing, Jet? Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. All right, so let's turn to see how they do during this. Oh, he kind of fell again. Jet just has really bad balance. I think that's the, the thing with Jet. That's nothing on the, <laughs> the liner. He just can't stay up. But Nook seems to be doing perfectly fine with it. Let's go back home. So what'd you guys think? Was it good? Was it good, Jethro? Let's see how it looks in there. Jet, do not look at my camera, buddy. So this thing uh, ended up... Ooh, wow, that's not good. Move, Jet. Jet, move. So right here... I think this is on me. I just need to adjust these straps so that it lays a little bit flatter and it only, Jethro, you're making this difficult. And it only like comes up and doesn't have any free space because Jet stepped there. So the ring that keeps this in place ripped off. Um, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But that's the only thing that I see is wrong. I am going to add some strings with some suction cups to these as well just to give it some more sturdiness and so that there's not just a lot of pressure on this one. Get out of my face. Jethro, do you want attention? Hi, pretty boy. And Nookers. Hi, Bubba. I love you, Nook. As I said before, this extra flap that hangs down when you open the car door, I, I feel like I need to add some Velcro or something to this so that it sticks up. And then I can always just take it off when I'm opening the car door to let them out. But it doesn't just stay up like this when I'm driving. Again, same thing on the other side. I'm going to add a suction cup to this and have it stay closer to the side of the car so that there's not as much hair gets underneath it. But overall, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, this isn't specifically for four runners, and I think that if the back seats in your car are a little bit lower, it might work better. Minor adjustments and adding those suction cups will do a lot, but I think obviously they enjoyed it. Right, pup? Did you like it? You give me a high five. Good boy. We're gonna stop it here. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys use cargo holder liners. If you guys are interested in checking Maddie out, let us know. Anything else you want us to know, leave it down below and we will talk to you guys next time. Say bye, Nook. Nook, say bye. Then Nook, high five. That's the best bye you're gonna get from him and Jet doesn't know anything. Do you, buddy? No.